always seek and find the peace of God. Now will I find, seek and find the peace of God. Now will I seek and find the will of God. Now will I seek and find the will of God. What is forgiveness? What is forgiveness? Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Now will I seek and find the will of God. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. I slipped in the word will there, the will of God. Seek and find the will of God, but we're seeking to find the peace of God, which is the will of God. <laughs> what is forgiveness is under this section. Hello, I'm Willie from the Ozarks from Ready for Lesson 230 in A Course in Miracles workbook for students. Here on Friday, August the 18th of 2023. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. We're reading from the original edition. And this will be the last day that we'll be doing uh, these 10 lessons that are under what is forgiveness. And then we'll go on to a, a, new, um, a new set. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. In peace I was created and in peace do I remain. It is not given me to change myself. How merciful is God my Father that when He created me, He gave me peace forever. <laughs> that is His will, the peace of God. Now I ask but to be what I am. And can this be denied me when it is forever so? Ask for what is and it has to be given to you. <laughs> Father, I seek the peace you gave me as mine and my creation. Yet or what was given then must be here now. For my creation was apart from time and still remains beyond all change. Father, I seek the peace you gave as mine and my creation. What was given then must be here now. Be here now. For my creation was apart from time and still remains beyond all change. The peace in which your son was born into your mind is shining there unchanged. I am as you created me. I need but call on you to find the peace you gave. It is your will that gave it to your son. I need but call on you to find the peace you gave. Ask God for his peace that he gave you in your creation. And it is your will that gave it to your son. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. And let's read what is forgiveness again. What is forgiveness? Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. It does not pardon sins and make them real. It sees there was no sin. And in this view are all your sins forgiven. What is sin except a false idea about God's Son? Forgiveness merely sees its falsity and therefore lets it go. What then is free to take its place is now the will of God. An unforgiving thought is one which makes a judgment that it will not raise to doubt, although it is not true. The mind is closed and will not be released. The thought protects projection 
tightening its chains so that distortions are more veiled and more obscure, less easily accessible to doubt, and further kept from reason. What can come between a fixed projection and the aim that it has chosen as its needed goal? An unforgiving thought does many things. In frantic action it pursues its goal, twisting and overturning what it sees as interfering with its chosen path. Distortion is its purpose and the means by which it would accomplish it as well. It sets about its furious attempts to smash reality without concern for anything that would appear to pose a contradiction to its point of view. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is still. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is still and quietly does nothing. It offends no aspect of reality nor seeks to twist it to appearances it likes. It offends no aspect of reality nor seeks to twist it to appearance that it likes. It merely looks and waits and judges not. He who would not forgive must judge for he must justify his failure to forgive. But he who would forgive himself must learn to welcome truth exactly as it is. Do nothing then, and let forgiveness show you what to do. Through him who is your guide, your savior and defender, strong in hope and certain of your ultimate success, he has forgiven you already, for such is his function given him by God. Now must you share his function and forgive whom he has saved, whose sinlessness he sees, and whom he honors as the Son of God. Okay, well, let's, um, let's go look at our text once again. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. And in our text today, we're ready in chapter 24, Specialness and Separation, Section 4, The Forgiveness of Specialness. And while you're turning there, what on earth is going on today? Bad Poetry Day. <laughs> Birth Control Pills Day. They were first uh, sold in the United States today in 1960, August 18th. Helium Discovery Day, also in on August 18th, but in 1868. And you know, I found out that, that uh, uh, helium is um, the product of radioactive decay of elements like uranium. Isn't that something? Uh, Mail Order Catalog Day, and this was the day that uh, Montgomery Ward started selling uh, uh, things out of their mail order catalog back in 1872. National Badge Ribbon Day, National Fajita Day, National Ice Cream Pie Day, National Men's Grooming Day, <laughs> National Give Up Day. Oh, never give up. Never give up. You know, and encouraging you to, to keep your mind, your, your, your sight on the goal of what's valuable. And of course, in our study, we're realizing that we never want to give up on our brothers. Always see them as innocent. Never give up in seeing that. Uh, Pinot Noir Day, which is a wine uh, from the same name of... The, the grape has the same name, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right. Pinot Noir, uh, a French wine. The happy... Uh, uh, a wine from the same name. Uh, serendipity Day, which is the happy occurrence of events. Uh, serendipity Day. I mean, that's, that's every day. When you're walking in God and, and seeking to follow, thy will be done, not my own, not my ego, but the, but the self, the real self, the Christ, the little child who leads us that's from God. Every day, serendipitous. Statehood Day in Hawaii, that was in 1919, and oh my, the big fire they had. You know, I was, I looked at that, I thought, you know, that never would have happened had they hadn't uh, put houses right next to each other and eliminated the natural environment. But, um, you know, that's something that, ho hopefully they'll reconsider that and follow the, uh, 
the more the uh, the ways of the native peoples before uh, industrialization and colonialization uh, when they rebuild, hopefully. Uh, National Couples Day, for all you couples, happy Couples Day. <laughs> World Breast Cancer Day. And, uh, and then also, I found all that on holidays and observances and holidaycalendar.io. Uh, and then I've got another uh, uh, melon I want to talk to you about. It's another Cucumus Mellow, an emerald gem out of, Ed out of um, Seed Savers Exchange. And it says the emerald gem introduced by W. Atley Burpee in 1886 from seeds sent by William Voorhees of Benzie County, Michigan. The most popular melon of that period, hailed as altogether unapproachable in delicious flavor and luscious beyond description. <laughs> Pale orange, rich, juicy flesh is sweet and somewhat spicy in flavor. Heavy producer, two to three pound fruits, 70 to 90 days, and it's nine or 930 seeds to the ounce. And that's your Emerald Gem um, Melon. Cantaloupe, I expect. I'm, I'm not sure, you know, we probably ought to understand what the difference between a musk melon, a cantaloupe, and, uh, oh, there's several of those, but they're mellow. It's a cucumis mellow. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, let's go take a look in the, our text reading. The forgiveness of specialness, and of course, keep in your mind all day today. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. Don't just seek it. Find it. It's there for you. The forgiveness of specialness. Forgiveness is the end of special. And this begins on paragraph 26, if you don't have uh, it divided up the way I do. Yeah, out of the original edition. Paragraph 26. Forgiveness is the end of specialness. Only illusions can be forgiven, and then they disappear. Only illusions can be forgiven, and then they disappear. Forgiveness is released from all illusions, and that is why it is impossible but partly to forgive. No one who clings to one illusion can see himself as sinless, for he, hold, for he holds one error to himself as lovely still. No one who clings to one illusion can see himself as sinless, for he holds one error to himself as lovely still. And so he calls it unforgivable and makes it sin. How can he then give his forgiveness wholly when he would not receive it for himself? For it is sure he would receive it wholly the instant that he gave it so, and thus his secret guilt would disappear, forgiven by himself. And before we go to par the next paragraph, paragraph 27, I, I forgot to tell you about another, uh, the other side in DE, and it's a 12 minute and 48 second one, and it's called Man Dies and is Shown the Creation of Earth During Shocking NDE. And his name is Ralph Verlin Jensen, and it happened in 2004. I uh, had a heart attack, and um, wow, he... he uh, you know, again and again, we keep seeing this 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 reassurance of how how we're so cared for, and that as soon as you die, there's no pain. There's even if you were having pain a, a moment prior. <laughs> anyway, and that just that rich love of God that's so um, assuring, and that you feel like you're home. Anyway, Ralph Verlin Jensen, thank you for that message. Okay, now let's pick up again in paragraph 27. Whatever form of specialness you cherish, you have made sin. Whatever form of specialness you cherish, you have made sin. Inviolate it stands, strongly defended with all your puny might against the will of God. And thus it stands against yourself, your enemy, not God's. So does it seem to split you off from God and make you separate from Him as its defender. You would protect what God created not. 
and yet this idol that seems to give you power has taken it away. For you have given your brother's birthright to it, leaving him alone and unforgiven, and yourself in sin beside him, both in misery before the idol that can save you not. It is not you that is so vulnerable and open to attack that just a word, a little whisper that you do not like, a circumstance that suits you not, or an event that you did not anticipate upsets your world and hurls you into chaos. Okay, now he's saying it is not you that is so vulnerable and open to attack that just a word, a little whisper that you do not like, a circumstance that suits you not, or an event that you did not anticipate upset your world and hurls you into chaos. Truth is not frail. Illusions leave it perfectly unmoved and undisturbed. But specialness is not the truth in you. It can be thrown off balance by anything. What rests on nothing never can be stable. However large and overblown it seems to be, it still must rock and turn and whirl about with every breeze. 29. Without foundation, nothing is secure. Would God have left his son in such a state where safety has no meaning? No, his son is safe, resting on him. It is your specialness that is attacked by everything that walks and breathes or creeps or crawls or even lives at all. Nothing is safe from its attack, and it is safe from nothing. It will forevermore be unforgiving, for that is what it is, a secret vow that what God wants for you will never be, and that you will oppose his will forever. Nor is it possible the two can ever be the same while specialness stands like a flaming sword of death between them and make them, in quotes, enemies. 30. God asks your forgiveness. God asks your forgiveness. Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Well, God asks that you let illusions be illusions. Let them go. God asks your forgiveness. He would have no separation. Like an alien will rise between what he wills for you and what you will. They are the same. Your will and God's will are the same. That's why we want to say, not my will, but thine be done. Because we want to say, not my ego will, but my true self will. Let it be done. Because they are the same. For neither one wills specialness. Okay, let's back up here again. God asks for your forgiveness. He would have no separation, like an alien will, rise between what he wills for you and what you will. They are the same, for neither one wills specialness. How could they will the death of love itself? Yet they are powerless to make attack upon illusions. They are not bodies. As one mind, they wait for all illusions to be brought to them and left behind. Salvation challenges not even death. And God himself, who knows that death is not your will, must say, Thy will be done, because you think it is. <laughs> Can you imagine that? God telling us, Thy will be done. Wow. Forgive the great creator of the universe, the source of life of love and holiness, the perfect father of a perfect son, for your illusions of your specialness. Again on that sentence, this is the first sentence, paragraph 31. Forgive the great creator of the universe, the source of life, of love and holiness, the perfect father of a perfect son, for your illusions of your specialness. Here is the hell you chose to be your home. He chose not this for you, Ask not, he enter this. The way is barred to love and to salvation. Yet if you would release your brother from the depths of hell, you have forgiven him whose will it is you rest forever in the arms of peace, in perfect safety, and without the heat and malice of one thought of specialness to mar your rest. A little longer sentence, but let's read it again. 
The way is barred to love and to salvation. Uh, forgive the great creator of the universe. I'm going to start at the beginning of the paragraph. Forgive the great creator of the universe, the source of life, of love, and holiness, the perfect father of a perfect son, for your illusions of your specialness. Here is the hell you chose to be your home. He chose not this for you. Ask not he enter this. Don't want God to enter hell, do we? He didn't choose that for us. Remember that. God didn't choose hell for us. The way is barred to love and to salvation. Yet if you would release your brother from the depths of hell, you have forgiven him whose will it is you rest forever in the arms of peace, in perfect safety, and without the heat and malice of one thought of specialness to mar your rest. Forgive the Holy One the specialness he could not give and which you made instead. 32. The special ones are all asleep, surrounded by a world of loveliness they do not see. Freedom and peace and joy stand there beside the bier on which they sleep and call them to come forth and waken from their dream of death. Yet they hear nothing. They are lost in dreams of specialness. They hate the call that would awaken them, and they curse God because he did not make their dream reality. Curse God and die, but not by him who made not death, but only in the dream. In the dream you can say you want to sleep and that you're mad at God for not letting your dream be real. Throw a little <laughs> temper tantrum. <laughs> Curse God and die, but not by him who made not death, but only in the dream. Open your eyes a little. See the Savior God gave to you that you might look on him and give him back his birthright. It is yours, which is your brother and sister. They're the Savior God's given you. They hold the key to happiness. They hold the key to love. They hold the key. All you have to do is practice forgiveness. The slaves of specialness will yet be free. Such is the will of God and of his Son. Would God condemn himself to hell and to damnation? And do you will that this be done unto your Savior? God calls to you from him to join his will to save you both from hell. Look on the print of nails upon his hands that he holds out for your forgiveness. God asks your mercy on his Son and on himself. God asks your mercy on his Son and on himself. Deny them not. They ask of you, but that your will be done. <laughs> they just want you to be yourself, your holy, innocent self. They seek your love that you may love yourself. Love not your specialness instead of them. The print of nails are on your hands as well. Forgive your father. It was not his will that you be crucified. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, that finishes that section. Tomorrow we'll be ready for the next section, Specialness and Salvation. Let's go back and take a look again at uh, our um, reading in, uh, in the, the workbook. Now will I seek and find the peace of God, uh, Lesson 230. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. In peace I was created, and in peace do I remain. It is not given me to change myself. How merciful is God my Father, that when he created me, he gave me peace forever. How merciful is my Father, that when he created me, he gave me peace forever. Look inside and find that peace that's always there and will always be there. Now I ask but to be what I am. And can this be denied me when it is forever so? And that's really what happens when a person dies. They, they don't have a physical body to uh, identify. And so they lose their specialness. Instead, they realize that, wow, I'm loved. I have peace. I always have peace. It's so wonderful. I don't want to go back to that world of no peace, no love. Or less peace and less love, maybe I should say. <laughs> but we can do that even when we're alive in the physical form. Death is nothing 
you know, even though I talk a lot about look at these near-death experiences, remember, keep it in balance. Death is nothing. Okay, and the prayer for now will I seek and find the peace of God says, Father, I seek the peace you gave as mine and my creation. What was given then must be here now. For my creation was apart from time and still remains beyond all change. The peace in which your son was born into your mind, mind is shining there unchanged. The peace in which your son was born into your mind is shining there unchanged. I am as you created me. I need but call on you to find the peace you gave. It is your will that gave it to your son. Okay, well, now will I seek and find the peace of God. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. Will I seek and find the peace of God? Now will I seek and find the peace of God? Now will I seek and find the peace of God? What is forgiveness? What is forgiveness? Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not not occurred. Now will I seek and find the will of God. Now will I seek and find the will of God. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. Thank you so much for joining me. And know that you are blessed by God. Now will I seek and find the peace of God. <laughs>